The Accessibility Discovery Center, or ADC, was designed to help Googlers understand how to make our products better for people with disabilities. We do this by following the mantra of nothing about us without us, where we bring the community in, understand where we have opportunities to make things better, collaborate on solutions, and then implement the solutions into our products. It's also a place where we can bring researchers, educators, and together elevate the discussion on what does it mean to make assistive technology? What does it mean to understand the needs of people with disabilities? I've always never self-identified as disabled in other workplaces. When I joined Google, I said, yeah, okay, I'm gonna be self-identified as disabled and be more proud of my disability. That's changed my world. And it's also coming from a space of knowing Google is proactively trying to improve as being pro-disabled. And the Accessibility Center is an example of that. What the Accessibility Center gives us is an opportunity to create digital equity. Basically an ability for everybody, whether you're disabled or not, to have the same chances and therefore less chance to be discriminated against. And that's what's really exciting about this space. In the ADC, we have a combination of mainstream assistive technology. For example, many people haven't seen a Braille book before, and it's really interesting having them realize how different it is. We also have a really gorgeous watch, which I just love. It's a tactile watch. But we have more advanced digital technology. We have, for example, on the Pixel 7 phone, guided frame, which allows someone who's blind to take a, a well-shot selfie. Three, two, one. We have caption technology, we have screen readers, everything that's necessary to really learn how to make your product better, but also make people's lives better as well. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for joining us remotely in the ADC. I know you're a big advocate of the space. Can you tell me a little bit about your disability and also how Google Captions have helped you in the workplace? So my disability, uh, my superpower is that I'm profoundly deaf. And the changes and the advances in automatic captioning have, have really been a game changer for me in that I can just show up, I can switch on so my laptop, I can join a meeting just as anyone else can because I can just understand what's going on word for word. This is a bit of a change to the supports that I would have had before, which would be like sign language interpreters, they need prep, they need to be booked, etc. You know, as great as that was, it was a lot of admin for me to do on top of my day job. So it feels like the capturing technology has really leveled the playing field for me. The space is divvied up into two sections. There's the research side, where we have a dedicated research section for accessibility and disability inclusion. We actually have a collaboration space we call the workshop, where we can co-design and co-test and work very hands-on with the community to make sure we, we understand their needs and build it into our products. On the tech side, we have the opportunity to, to learn about the assistive technology, how to work with a braille display or how to code to a screen reader. We've also got a bunch of games here where we can teach someone about the assistive technology without them realizing they're being taught. One of my favorites is where you use eye tracking to be able to, to, to steer the car left and right, start and stop. Thoughtfully designed products will work for everyone and a place like the ADC is where you can come to learn about what exists today. From a Googler perspective, I want the ADC to be something that's exciting, something that's fun, that's interesting. I want them to recognize the challenge in terms of making things both accessible and delightful. I want them to recognize the opportunity from a design perspective, how to rework something so it really reflects the needs of everybody. When it comes to Googlers and the community at large, it's really important to understand the needs of people by bringing them into the conversation. So we, we co-design, we test, and we iterate to make sure our products meet the expectations that we have about being good for everyone.